What's going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well today we got ourselves a little care package here and we got ourselves a little love letter. Should we read it together? It says Hobbyist. I heard you like old GPUs. This one has served me well. I was going to clean it but then thought it would make some good YouTube comment. Sorry it's gross. Condition like new. Never mind on. Enjoy. Mike Red Fox. Oh, so nice of him. <laughs> so this is awesome, by the way. I, I've never received a, a gift from a fellow content creator, let alone a community member. Uh, so I did open the box already, but I'm going to act like I haven't opened it yet, okay? All right, so check this out. Mike... Red Fox went ahead and sent us a GeForce GTX 1070. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Like, why are you sending me graphics cards? You should be mining with this. Uh, but no, I'm super excited. Um, I had a 1070 actually in my gaming rig a long time ago. Uh, now I have a 2080 Super, but uh, I don't have any 1070s right now, so I'm excited to see how this thing does. Should do around 30, 32 based off of our overclock settings and my research that I've done, but I'm concerned. Did you guys see this? It says, I was going to clean it, but then thought it would make good YouTube content. Sorry, it's gross. So let's open this up and find out why he says it's gross. Okay, so at first glance, I'm like, all right, not too bad. You know, look, he's even got all the plugs and everything. But now let's go ahead and take a look and see what we're working with. Now, I don't know if the camera can do justice. What in the world is that? I'm trying to see what else here. It feels super oily. Oh, look at this. What is this? <laughs> so I went ahead and checked uh, with Mike from Red Fox, okay? This thing has never been cleaned, never had the pads changed, and never had the thermal paste changed. So, I love you, Red Fox, but you're better than this. <laughs> All right, so I am going to do a quick fast forward here and strip down this card and clean this sucker. And then we need to get this on the test bench and see how it does.
Alrighty, so we got our 1070 Ti cleaned up and good to go. It looks a thousand times better. Sorry, Mike from Red Fox, but she is cleaned up and good to go. Uh, this is on our test bench. It's just an HP motherboard hooked up to a 750 watt power supply. And we also have a GPUrisers.com 64 gigabyte SSD. Let's go ahead and power this up for the very first time. Oh yeah, first boot up, good to go. Let's go ahead guys and swap over to Hive OS and take a look and see what type of hash rate we can get out of this Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1070 Ti. Alrighty guys, so we do have this on our test bench. As you guys know, our test bench is named Banshee uh, based off of the X-Men. And uh, as we can see here, this is a Gigabyte running uh, the Micron GDDR5. So looking good right now, our temps are great, you know, 35 degrees, which is phenomenal. We know that our heat sink is placed well, good paste. Um, so now our next step is to go ahead and apply a flight sheet to this. And let's just see what this does with stock settings. So I'm gonna go into my flight sheets. I name all my flight sheets starting with the name of the rig. So Banshee right here, Ethereum and test bench. So let's go ahead and send that to the moon and let's see how this 1070 Ti does on Ethereum stock. Okay, so T-Rex Miner is reporting back. We're doing about 27.15 mega hash on Ethereum right now with our Gigabyte NVIDIA GTX 1070 Ti. So taking a look at what to mine, uh, selecting the 1070 Ti, it looks like that what to mine has it at 29 mega hash at 140 watts right now. And if you take an actual closer look down here, we can start to see what um, what is actually most profitable with it. Believe it or not, Flux, look at, look at it, Flux making a run for the money right now, uh, directly under that Ethereum. It looks like Ethereum right now, making $2.08 per day on this card, minus our 37 cents in cost for electricity, puts us at $1.71 per day on the 1070 Ti. So my next step is I'm gonna go ahead and spend some time overclocking this, and then I will check back in just a minute and let you guys know how we did. Okay, so it took us a little time. Uh, I tried multiple different variations and I'm still not 100% happy with this one, but we'll keep working at it. I believe we can get 32 mega hash. Right now we are at 31.04 at 130 watts. Our stock settings for the 1070 Ti put us at 27.15 at 140 watts. So we cut, now granted, these are just estimated watts based off of Hive OS. We'll hook this up to a voltage meter at the very end. But that saves us about 10 watts here, and that gives uh, gives us three, four, you know, four mega hash total on the grand scheme of things. So now let's go ahead and take a look and punch those numbers in. Uh, 31.04 and 130 watts. Hit calculate estimates here, people. Estimates. This puts us at 191 dollars total. Uh, I'm sorry, 100. Wow, that would be awesome. Uh, that puts us at, let's see here, 1.87. So a dollar and 87 cents per day based off of these metrics here. Now, let's talk a little bit about break even. So I received this card entirely free. So kudos to Mike Red Fox for sending this over as a gift. But let's take a look and see what these go for. So on eBay, I went ahead and put in the card Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1070 Ti. I selected cards that ended recent or cards that were sold, and then I selected ended recently. So this is an EVGA versus the Gigabyte. This sold for 365. Uh, if we look down here, an ASUS 1070 Ti sold for 445. A GeForce um, EVGA GeForce One 450. So man, these are up there. So we got 365, 445, 450, 380, 489. 400 wow 529 this is the exact card i have 529 dollars mike from red fox you're nuts so let's i'm gonna take i'm gonna say 415 as an average 420 we'll say 420 as an average here based off of because these are all over the place guys all over the place so if we come in here and do our break even for 400 
in $20, let's say, and hit calculate, our break even is 225 days, which anything under a year is a win win in my vote, to be honest with you. So let's see what else this does on other algorithms. So if we jump back, Flux is definitely up there right now, $1.78. Um, let's see, jumping down, Firo. $1.76. Man, Ravencoin's way down here. Surprise, $1.73. I mean, they're all within reason. I mean, it's within 20 cents. So we're not we're not going crazy here. Um, I think for me, I would mine either Ethereum or Ravencoin on this card as of right now. We kind of know what our profitability would be per day and per you know per week in that regard. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and swap back over to the camera. I want to get this hooked up to a voltage meter and show you guys when we're at 31.04 mega hash, what we're actually doing from a voltage meter from a true Watts perspective at the wall. Okay. So we have no card on our test bench right now. Look how, look how small and scarce it looks. Our gigabyte 1070 TI is down here. That's actually a 3060 if you're interested. And I did go ahead and swap over to 120 and uh, you can see here on our voltage meter we are at 20 watts total 23 we'll say 20 we'll round it for 20 here so we're at 20 watts total right now so let me go ahead and get our card plugged in get it mining and then we'll take a look to see what we're doing at the wall minus 20 watts okay so as you guys can see our GeForce GTX 1070 currently mining right now. It says it's using 129 watts. So let's go over in here. You can see we're going, we're mining, and we're using 168 minus the 20 that the board and, and power supply and all. Okay, 170. So let's say 170 to round it. So taking that down to 150. So 170 minus the 20 is 150. So this card right now, mining at 31 mega hash, is actually using 150 watts versus what we have here is 130. So this is off by a total of 20, which gives us a better idea. So that'll be, it'll be much better for us to go ahead and put that into what to mine uh, at 150 watts. Well guys, this is it for today for our Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1070 Ti. Super special shout out to Mike Red Fox Crypto for going ahead and sending this over as a gift. This is incredible, thanks again. If you guys enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.